we're taking you on a day in our life, living in our camper van while renovating it. Now we're running some errands and we're gonna take you through our day and show you how we make it work living in the van while renovating it. Also how we make it work getting in and out without it being accessible. So we'll just kind of show you how we make all of that work. Today's the first day since we moved into the van that we're taking it anywhere. So we're a little nervous about the things in the back. There's our home. Ready? First stop of the day. I always get nervous when Nicolette's near the edge here. It's a pretty far drop. Look at her. This is actually a really far drop. It is pretty it's far. a little scary. I grab the chair. Normally close the door. And then I hop right into it. No, you don't. Just Stop. Kidding. <laughs> Look how far really that drop is. Our goal is to get this seat to come out and down on its own, but we're not there yet. Are you ready, babe? Usually I hold on to the thing. I know, but I got you. <laughs> Total trust. All right, so this is what Throws we do. my head out. Make sure it's a good angle. And then I just put her down. So that is how we do it. We have so much laundry. This is all our laundry. This, this, all that. So we're gonna wash it all today. Look at Nikolai carrying everything. I like laundry day. <laughs> we don't normally have this much stuff. I always like to take advantage of the dumpsters. Great, now I have to go get that. One thing is I always find a way to improvise. Brian is in the laundry mat. I needed to come in the van. So how I do that in my chair without Brian is luckily I can transfer from my wheelchair to the floor of our ProMaster. It is nice to be able to get into the back of the van without anyone's help and to come in and sweep the floor before we put all of our laundry. And this little thing that I got on Amazon has been a lifesaver. If you live in a van, you need a little broom. You probably already know that, but this thing has come in super handy. lemonade. This is seriously like everything you guys. We're not exaggerating. These are the best sandwiches on the East Coast. I don't know what they do. This is mine. Balsamic beef. Yeah. This is Nicolette's. This deviled. is avocado deviled egg salad. Oh my god, it's so good. They really so smorged on the napkins. Good. I'm joking. Yummy. I was so hungry and I should like feel good about eating, but that pepper was bad. It was like bad. <laughs> Oh. Brian orders things a lot and doesn't know what they actually are, I really feel like. Well, like a jalapeno peppers, nothing. Nothing to me. I don't know what these other other colored peppers are, but they're like bad and it's lasting. It's been like 10 minutes. We needed this. So, we're off to our second home right now. We work together to get out of the van. And that's how we're gonna make this possible. That's how we've done the whole build. That's how we've been our whole relationship. When we crystal mine, when we do anything, we just work together and we make life happen. Nicolette balances me out and I balance her out. And that's part of the reason it works for us. Part of the reason we can live in this small space together. There's our shadow. Oh yeah. We're gonna stop at one of these real quick. So this quarter inch and a half inch plywood is exciting because it'll finish our pantry, it'll finish the rest of the cabinets on the sides. Oh, I don't want this giant screw in there. <laughs> I don't know what she plans on doing with this, but not the van. I was getting something with it. 
and then I realized I had the so, so bunny. Okay. Time of the day. We're home. Now that we're back home, I'm gonna organize everything, all the scrap after laundry. And Brian is gonna unload our wood. While Brian continues on our pantry right here, I am going to work on organizing. Some of this is from the store, some of it's laundry, and some of it is just from packing the van down to drive it. A lot of people ask me, actually one of the first things I'm asked when I tell people that I'm gonna be traveling in a tiny house van is how are you going to do that? Is it accessible? And the answer is no, it's not accessible at all. And sometimes it's very, very frustrating for me. So this bed is too high for me to get on right now, but we are gonna build something that I'm able to bump up to and I'll show you guys that when we do. But just to share um, how frustrating the inaccessibility can be, like right now I'm trying to organize and I can't reach the top things so I don't have my wheelchair. So a lot of times I can maneuver a lot on the floor, but then there's certain things that are up high. So it's just like really being patient. That being said, nothing in the world is accessible. So when people ask me like, is that accessible? I, my first reply is literally nothing is accessible. I can get an accessible apartment, but if I ever want to travel or do anything um, outside of my apartment, I'm going to deal with inaccessibility. And the only way to deal with that really is to just stay patient and invent new ways to make it possible. Cause that's really the only thing that I'm going to get. I'm not going to get perfectly accessible. Unfortunately, that ship has sailed for me. I'm going to have to deal with what I have to deal with. So I know that as I live in the van, it's going to get easier and easier and I'm going to come up with so many tricks. But for right now, it is a little frustrating. But to answer your question, yeah, it's really hard. But do I think it's worth it? I do. Thank All right, you. babe. Can you hand me a couple things up high? Yeah. Let me take my shoes off. So Thank don't you. Messy. <laughs> That's our biggest thing here. All right. So up there, hand me. What's the miscellaneous stuff up there? This? I need the rag. I'll take that. Business cards. All right. Rag. My electrical, because I hooked up this under cabinet light. Okay. Get all, all right. that down, hand it to me. No, I'm keeping that. Thing. No, give me it. I'll put it in the toolbox. This. I need to have things in their right, weird locations. I, don't, I try right. not to argue. So now I'll take that bath thing and put that up there. And Brian's a good sport about this. He understands that I can't just do it. So if I sound a little demanding it's really not like that and even though i can be <laughs> he's really good with that yeah throw that up there so brian will help me even though he's doing something unfortunately he has to like i can well, reach that in I my wheelchair these, okay so i'm getting ready to do that All you right. know where my drill bit is yeah hold on this is where i come in handy she knows where everything is and i put it right literally here thank you <laughs> Since we're connected to shore power, I'm gonna set it up for the night. We won't always have this luxury. We only have this luxury when we are connected to shore power, but I'll take this, plug it in to shore power, and then we have power without wasting our battery, or we can charge our battery. Nicolette's still in here cleaning. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of my life, me in this little room. Literally me. Just wait one sec, babe. This is crazy. You're always doing this. Once it starts getting a little chilly, we have our heater. This is a shore power plug heater. We do not have an off-grid heater yet, but we will figure something out. So I got a lot of this stuff organized. This is the best I'm going to do until we have more storage felt, but at least everything is put away in a little bit of its place. And I'll look at the moon. That's cute. It's getting dark out, so Brian's bringing in the plants for the night. But let me know if you guys are able to keep plants alive in your van. I put them outside, hoping that that's enough sun for it but we'll see. Yeah. I have one more thing to grab. It's not a plant. 
It's our TV. We're getting ready for, not bed, but to bunker down into the van for the night. One of the things we do is cover our windshield. So we pop that in there, gives a privacy and blocks out annoying sunlight. And people. And people. All right, that's in. So then Brian's going to put my wheelchair, which we will mostly keep in the van. Since this TV's here, we're not always going to have this. We're going to have a little one on this wall here. Sometimes, but sometimes we put it here, but today we're going to put it up. I don't need it tonight, so we're just going to put it up front. We love this thing. Look at this. Here, I'll turn off the light. Ready? Watch. Our night light. It also goes red. Look at that. I'm gonna make the bed, Brian's gonna work a little more, and then we'll show you how we get comfy for the night. All right, and that always takes the wind out of me, so now I'm resting up and the bed is made. I have chocolate. Today was a long day of errands and just cleaning up and getting more and more situated after moving into our van abruptly and we didn't expect it. That's why it's been a little chaotic, but we're really getting organized. We want to thank you guys for joining us today on our day and for just, you know, coming along as we ran our errands and being able to figure out kind of how we make this work until we get it fully accessible. And we hope that it's it inspires easy. you to go after whatever it is you want to do, even if there's some barriers in your way. It's true. And if you've made it this far in the video, you've already helped us as creators. If you go ahead and hit that like button, that'll help us even more. And we hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you can see our next update, which might be us gone. We're, we're well, looking to travel. Our next update is going to be plumbing, more finishing maybe. touches on our van. We need plumbing before we can be gone. We're going to get that storage done, work on plumbing, and then we're going to head south. We're winding down for the night. So we in our lights, get some Netflix on, and this is a little bit of our nighttime vibe. We cover up our windows, we'll turn our lights completely off, watch some Netflix, and sleep, get some rest, and go back at it.